This demo will attempt to showcase a forms and workflow uh, application that was created using the Places App Forms product. And uh, what we will try to do is take a business use case like facilities, uh, management of facilities requests to showcase the workflow application. What we're going to do here is uh, the end user will submit a new facilities request form and depending on the type of the request we will be routing the form for action. So we will have a few scenarios that we're going to demonstrate here. The first workflow scenario will be for a normal request and a normal request is a request submitted by the end user. Uh, it can be any user within the organization that is given access to the form uh, uh, for the purpose of submitting their request. And once the request has been submitted, they would be tagged as the initiate of the process and uh, any user could be permitted to make the request. Once the request has been submitted, the form can be routed in this scenario to the facilities team where one of the facilities team members can start working on the request and take actions. A second scenario for the workflow could be a, a submission tagged as an emergency request where once the initiator submits it, it is routed to an alternate delivery step and irrespective of how the routing works, finally the goal is for the request to be actioned by the user for fulfilling the request type. Now the Clases workflow uh, with forms has been set up in this case to have its own dashboard and in the dashboard you will have an inbox which would be all the requests that have been created by anybody that have been routed to you as a user for action. The outbox is similarly any request that you might have created or participated in that is now pending completion. You can always track and review the status in your outbox. Declined is all the requests that have been declined and completed of course is all the requests that have been completed. For the demo that we're going to show you now, these are just some of the test users that we'll be using. In the first scenario, we have a user submitting a new request form. So I'm logged in as that user CL01 as you can see. If I click on the new button, I've got a new button, an inbox and outbox, uh, like I mentioned for the various states of my forms and all the forms that are submitted uh, awaiting my action are available in my inbox. By clicking new, I launch a facilities request form and the facilities request form can be designed to contain the fields that need to be captured for any user to submit the request with enough information for the, the follow-up action. Now, uh, I'm just going to fill up these fields to represent this uh, facilities request that I'm creating. And once I've filled the fields up, uh, please note that you can design the form to have uh, the ability to capture all the data relevant to managing the process. And uh, you can route the workflow depending on the type of request, etc. So once I've put in my request uh, information, I can also attach uh, files and related data and then I can submit the request. So once I submit the request, this form is now going to be routed for action using the workflow process management. And if I go into my uh, outbox, I would be able to track the status of that specific submission. Clicking view history will bring up the uh, history or the workflow status of this particular submission. And if I want to now, as the step that the workflow was routed to, which is the facilities user, if I want to now participate in the workflow, once I've logged in as the facilities user in my dashboard, I will find the request in my inbox. And this time, if I now choose to 
uh, action this item what I will be able to do is just go to my inbox and select the item that is now awaiting my action and the first item is the request that we just submitted if I bring up that first request in my list in from my inbox you can see I have an extended form which is the original data submitted uh, which shows me additional information that I can update I have to click accept to take ownership of this particular item so, so accept is when a request is routed to a group uh, you might have multiple users in the group and a specific user can take ownership by clicking accept now once a user clicks accept they are the owner of that specific submitted item they can then fill up the additional information pertaining to the request as they execute the task and they can complete this step of the workflow so the key thing to note here is that you can design forms that display only the section for capturing the submission data and you can enable sections that need to be updated by each step of the process as you go along now if I submit or save the item I have captured the information that updates the status of the request if I want to bring in an alternate user or group I can forward the item to an alternate user or group within my organization and uh, forward introduces an ad hoc step to the workflow so I'm now bringing in a user that needs to participate which is not part of the original workflow design once I have forwarded the request you will be able to uh, bring in the the user to whom the request was forwarded and that's what I'm going to focus on in the next step in the demo so if I've logged in as the user to whom the request was forwarded uh, this time it was forwarded to a specific individual so I do not need to click accept I can directly start working on the task and once the forwarded user has provided the inputs required and the forwarded user approves the task it will be routed back to the user who initiated the forward so now we are going back to the predefined workflow which is the facilities user who now needs to perform the final steps to complete the process so what I just showed you there was the introduction of an ad hoc or intermediary step into the workflow that was not part of the original design and now at the final step at any point if you click on the workflow history you will be able to see the path that this form took in the business process so it was submitted approved by the initiator it was then routed by the uh, facilities user uh, to an alternate user for action the alternate user provided the input and it's now at its final step if I now want to complete the workflow I just need to complete the workflow at this final step thank you